Welcome to Dodd's Football Recap, presented by Dodd Sports Network. The first segment will be focusing on the action in the Palmetto State. With no Clemson or South Carolina game this weekend, we're focusing on the state's Southern Conference teams. The Furman Paladins took on tough Southern Conference competition on Saturday against the Sanford Bulldogs and defeated Sanford handily 35-17. to Sanford's stats were incredible in this loss, though. Quarterback Andy Summerlin was 44-69 for 372 yards, but still had zero touchdowns. He was my player of the game, but it is still astonishing that he could not hit a receiver in the end zone and credit him with a touchdown. But you've got to give props to the Furman defensive backs for stopping the Bulldogs' air raid once they got in the red zone. The reason Furman won this football game was by forcing turnovers and scoring on big plays. Receiver Andre Suttles had an 85-yard touchdown reception from quarterback Reese Hannon, and Marcus McMorris had an 89-yard fumble recovery that was taken to the house for a touchdown, and the Furman Paladins will travel to Cullowee to take on the Western Carolina Catamounts this weekend to further their quest for a possible FCS playoff appearance for the first time since 2004. The Citadel, another Southern Conference team in the state in the Charleston area, got a crucial victory over a struggling Elon Phoenix football team this weekend to wrap up their Southern Conference season finishing at 4-4. Four and four. The Bulldogs had 424 yards of total offense and scored six, five touchdowns to round out a 35-10 victory over the Elon Phoenix. Elon helped the, the uh, Citadel Bulldogs by turning the ball over three times, two of which led to Bulldog scores. The leading scorer for the Bulldogs and player of the game was quarterback Ben Dupree, who led the Dogs in rushing for 64 yards and scoring three touchdowns on the ground while throwing one. The Bulldogs round out their season with stout competition facing the VMI Cadets and the Clemson University Tigers, and there's vo virtually no hope of FCS playoffs for the Citadel. The Walford Terriers suffered a loss at 23rd ranked University of Tennessee Chattanooga this weekend, 20 to 10 in a defensive battle. The Mocs rushed for 233 yards and passed for 151, while they limited the triple option attack of the Walford Terriers to only 172 yards. This was helped by a stellar performance from the Chattanooga defense who forced four turnovers. With the win, Chattanooga clinched their first Southern Conference title since 1984. But the most impressive matchup in the Palmetto State was the Furman and Sanford game. It was a huge win for the Furman program, and this young Furman team has really impressed me this season and still continues to impress me every game. Please enjoy some highlights from last weekend's Furman and Appalachian State football game that I have for you right now. enjoyed those highlights. Let's move on to the national scene with my NCAA game of the week between the Stanford Cardinal and Oregon Ducks. In Stanford's 26-20 win, they limited the Ducks to only two offensive touchdowns. That's a low for the season. And the main reason was they played keep away from the Oregon offense. Stanford had over 42 minutes time of possession compared to Oregon's only 18. Their player of the game for the Cardinal 
was running back Tyler Gaffney, who rushed for 157 yards and a touchdown on 45 carries. Oregon started to make a little bit of a comeback at the end, down 26 to nothing, by returning a blocked field goal for a touchdown, recovering a fumble and scoring, and recovering an onside kick, which also led to a touchdown. But it was too little too late, and Oregon lost their first game of the season, once again to the Stanford Cardinal out of the Pac-12, who reigned on the Ducks' possible BCS parade for the third year in a row. Other big games included a 59-3 thrashing of Wake Forest by the Florida State Seminoles, who ended up clinching the Atlantic Division title and securing a trip to Charlotte for the ACC title game for the second year in a row. Florida State's defense looked stellar in the game and showed dominance over a weak Demon Deacon defense. Tanner Price was 1-4 for four with three interceptions and three yards passing before very, very kindly Jim Grobe took him out of the ballgame. Alabama proved once again to be a national title contender and showing that they're number one with a 38-17 win over 13th ranked LSU. A.J. McCarron was 14 of 20 for 179 yards and three touchdowns in the Crimson Tide's victory and was the DSN Player of the Week. Virginia Tech also had a huge program win, 42-24 over 14th ranked Miami. That really made a mess of the Coastal Division as their three teams tied at first, and this was a great win for the Hokies, and also really helped the Duke Blue Devils to set them up at a possible Coastal Division title as they're seven and two thus far. Missouri also showed dominance to remember to remain the front runner in the SEC East. The Tigers defeated Kentucky forty eight to seventeen and are a game ahead of the South Carolina Gamecocks in the Eastern Division of the SEC. I'd like to thank all of you for watching and hope that you have a great week and I can't wait to see you next time on Dodds Football Podcast.